guys welcome back to Android tutorial in the previous part we have already created two activities the first activity contain a button when the user click the button it will go to the second activity in second activity there is an edit text and submit button is present here okay now we are going to change the activity in such a way that whenever in the second activity the user enters some data and press the submit button then the data is appear on the first activity so here the first activity I just invoke the second activity for start activity but now I am going to invoke the second activity for a result so here we have to invoke the activity instead of using start activity we using the start activity for result okay so here I am going to create a simple integer variable in request code I initialize the value of request code to 1 value of request I said the value of request code to 1 now I am going to start the activity for result so here start activity for result there are two arguments are present first one is the indent object here indent is the indent object and the request code okay now in the second activity you can see that in the second layout there is an edit text and button is present here just looking to the XML file edit text has an ID called txt and the button has an ID called second button so go to the Java class file corresponding to that activity I just create an object of button here button bn also an object of edit text txt we have to import both these components okay now I link the ID from the layout to this object bn is equal to find view by ID bn is equal to find to view by id r dot it dot txt now it is the button it is bn1 bn2 ok now we have to cast the button ok I have done the casting now we have to link the edit text txt is equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt ok also we need casting here ok now I just create the action listener for the button pn dot set on click listener new view, view dot on click listener we have to import some packages here click finish here a semicolon is missing ok now whenever 
the second activity appear and user enter some value into the text area or the edit text and press the submit button there other time it will go to the first activity and display some message there so now I have to pass data to the first activity that means the activity that pass so here I just create an indent object intent i is equal to new indent i just create a string variable here string this is equal to txt dot get text dot to string you have to import the there is some spelling mistake here it is intent you have to import the indent class okay now I just set the now I am going to attach the data in the string variable to the intent object so I dot I dot set data URI dot pass and this string value here string is S yes. okay now I have to set the result so we use the method called set a result here the result code is result ok and indent object is here the indent object is i so we need to finish this activity so we use the method called finish ok after finishing this activity actually the data passing to the first activity so we need we have to create some method in the first activity to receive this data so we here here we have to create a method called public void on activity result actually this method accept three arguments called uh, indent request code int result code and finally an indent object indent data so we have to check whether the request code that getting here is same as the request code that we are passing from here so we need an if loop here if request code is same as the request code also we have to check the result code is the result ok result code it is not request code result code result code is same as result ok ok it is not request code this request code not result code this request code ok now I just take the get the data from the string indent object so here I just create a string variable string data 
string data is equal to data dot get string it is get data dot converting it into string okay now we are just access the data from the indent object using get data method so here I just create a toast toast dot make text get the base context here and here we need the data here I'm going to display the data data and duration is toast dot make it as long dot show okay now we just finish the project so now I am going to run the project run as Android application now you can see that the project is open up and here is the first activity is appear here is the button is present here so I click the button it will go to the second activity here I just type some message I just type welcome here and click the submit button now you can see that it will go to the first activity and the toast is display here okay here we just invoke the first activity second activity for start activity for result here we passing two arguments in that method first one is the intent object and request code okay in order to receive the data from the target activity we use to we use a method is called on activity result here it was three arguments request code result code and intent data in the target activity there we just catch the data from the text area and we create an indent object here and we attach the data to the indent object using set data method and finally we result the set the result as set result and result ok and pass the indent object and finally we finish this activity actually an activity is closing here that means we destroy the activity by just calling the finish method then the first activity will appear and in that first activity we just display the message from the second activity as a toast okay guys thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial